Dan here with GetItOutOfHere.info, bringing you some nostalgia from the past, bringing you some Winnipeg Vibes magazine. Yes, these are Winnipeg historical artifacts that you will not find anywhere else, but are absolutely fun to read and entertaining. So let me give you a preview of some of the content. Ooh, candy bikini for the woman who dares to be provocative and for the man who dares to know her. So these Vibes magazines have personal sections. This is what it was like to date before there was Tinder. You had to paste an ad in here and you paid for the amount of words. Ooh, brown hair, blue eyes, loves dancing, sports and socializing, but shy, does not believe in women's lib, would like to hear from attractive, tall, hairy guy. Not too hairy, but hair turns me on. We'll answer all replies. <laughs> If you want to read these and more, get hours of laughs, entertainment, and insight into what it was like to live in 1978, I believe this is from. So if you're a music lover and you like the Stampeders, hey, guess what? There's an article in there all about that for you. I've also got 11 of these Manitoba Events magazines, similar in style, where they feature restaurants, events, and music from the era. Lots of nostalgia advertising. If you like 70s advertising, and I do, this one is absolutely fun. And you can read this for hours, taking you back to the time when advertising was a lot more permissive, first of all. Not that there's anything wrong with this ad, I just think this is, I wanted to stop and show you that this restaurant no longer exists. It's a French restaurant, La Grenouillère, so you'll see things in here that no longer exist. Here's one that still does exist, La Vieille Gare, but now it's called Resto Gare. So you get to see what it was like before. Still exists, still at the same location. Very cool advertising. Glass Onion Disco, I think it's time to party, guys. Smart dress only, though, so guess what? That means I'm not invited. Let's keep going and see what we could find. Ooh, lighting. So a lot of businesses in here have survived through the ages. Uh, many of them haven't, but still cool to see them in here. So this Festival du Voyageur issue, uh, the Jeff Beck Vibes issue, I have four copies of the Vibes magazine. Uh, one of them is a little bit more naughty than the other. Show you. I gotta make sure I put my finger over the bits that will get me in trouble. Hang on a sec. I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm get, okay, there, I found it. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Woo, how to make love to a single girl. And they're showing the breasts. And I just can't show them on Facebook, I'm sure, or YouTube or anything like that. So, But hey, if you want to know how to make love to a single girl 1970s style, you need this magazine. Lots of other cool stuff in here. Not just sex, but, you know, there's a fair share of sex. It was the 70s, after all. So, I'm asking for, what should I ask for these? I mean, there's the Vibes magazines, there's four of them. There's 11 of the events magazines, 15 in total. I'm thinking, hmm, $200 for the lot. 200, no, that's too much. $150, that's $10 a magazine. $150 or $20 per single magazine. You heard me right. I've made up my mind. $150 for the lot or $20 for one magazine. Thanks for watching. Remember to check it out. Get it out of here.info. If you want to make a deal, you don't like the price, make me an offer and get it out of here.